Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to unbox and take a first look at the HTC Resound. This is a very incredible phone when it comes to the specs. So let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll go over the specs. It's a 4G phone, and I really like HTC phones generally. Let's go ahead and open this up here, see if we can get the phone out. There we are. So here's the phone itself. Looks a little bit like uh, an incredible as far as the red battery and the red back. It features Beats Audio. Let's go ahead and take this top off here. There we are. So there's the phone itself. Looks really nice. We have some Beats headphones in here. Let's see if we can get the battery out. There we go. So here's the battery. The battery is a 1620 milliamp hour battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. The phone looks really nice has an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, 1080p and 720p video recording. Again, there's the little beat symbol on the back. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box and then we'll look at the phone a little bit more. So we have a little pouch for the headphones. That's normal for Beats audio anyway. You can see the headphones here. Well, in here. We'll take a look at those later uh, after I do a review. We've got some consumer information. Let's move the battery aside here. And we have our what appears to be a micro USB cable. This phone has some really great specs, like I mentioned. And you can see this is their normal micro USB. Actually, it has a little bit different look on the end of it than what I expected. I don't know if you can see that end. That's different than normal, anyway. We have a USB on the end. And then we have our USB wall adapter. And there we go. So let's move these aside and take a look at the phone itself. Now the phone, uh, although I didn't know these specs right off the bat, has a dual 1.5 gigahertz processor in it. So we've got 3 gigahertz total if you combine the processors. We have 1024 of system RAM. We have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, along with upgradable to 32 gigabytes of micro SD RAM. So let's pop the back off here. That's pretty neat. It's transparent. So it's supposed to have 32 gigs of internal storage, and then we have a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that's pre-installed. I really like this. It's a little transparent. That's pretty neat. So I have to get a SIM card. I'll pop this in here, and then we'll turn the phone on. I've got the SIM card. Let's go ahead and slide it into place here. There we go, we've got this little tab that holds it in place. Let's go ahead and open our battery. Or put the battery in place. There we go. Put the back in place. It's got a, quite a few different little metal uh, attachments, and that's probably for the antenna. There we go. The back is rubbery, which is nice. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. So the phone itself has some impressive specs, like I mentioned. It's got a 4.3 inch 720 by 1280 screen. So it's actually a 720p display. It also has an SLCD technology, which is capacitive touch or multi-touch, and it has a light and proximity sensor. Let's wait for it to boot up here. You can see it said Beats Audio. And it has the normal GPS or AGPS, SGPS. It's 4G LTE EVDO Rev A. And there we go. Looks like it's going to start up. And here we go. So it says no service. It may take a moment for the SIM card to kick in. Like I mentioned before, it has an 8 megapixel 1280 and 720p video recording capability and dual LED flash. There's the speaker on the back. On the front, we have a 2 megapixel forward facing camera. There you go, it says Verizon Wireless. So let's see if you can see that again. I'll turn this off. And to unlock it, we grab this at the bottom, slide up. Very nice. And on the front, we've got our speaker. We've got our normal home menu, back, and search buttons. On this side, we have a volume rocker. On this side, we have our USB adapter. Different shape, but it may work with any other USB, I'm not sure. Looks like we've got a microphone here for noise cancellation. And then on the bottom, we also have another microphone for when we're talking on the phone. On the top, 
we have our sleep wake power button and our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So let's go ahead and go back. Oh, it's going to say HTC. And I'm not sure what it's doing, but we'll give it a moment. And it somehow ended up in Spanish, which is not good for me since I don't read Spanish. <laughs> there we go. So everything is in Spanish, which is going to be a bit challenging. Uh, let's go into here. The phone has been set up. And here we're at the home screen. I've changed the language back to English so I could actually read it. it. Took me a moment to get through, but it wasn't too tricky. So let's go ahead and look at the design. I really have always liked HTC Sense UI. Let's go ahead and slide down. So that's interesting. We have notifications and quick settings here in the menu. So there we go. You can see memory here says... 817 megabytes total, which that's actual RAM being used, so that's not the actual storage memory. The screen seems very responsive so far. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit more, so hopefully you can see not just the camera and the reflection there. You can see the screen itself looks really nice and clear. And one thing I'm really interested to use is the, the Beats audio, just because that's what this phone is supposed to be all about, music. Let's go and see what apps we have installed. I didn't install anything. In fact, you saw me set this up. All I did was change the language back to English. So let's go ahead and slide and see what we've got here. I was used to Motorola sliding sideways. Let's go ahead and scroll up here. There we go, NFL. Very fast and responsive uh, with this dual 1.5 gigahertz processor. That's pretty impressive. It does run Android 2.3, uh, so it has gingerbread on it. And I don't know if if Ice Cream Sandwich will be coming out for this anytime soon, but hopefully. So you can see it's got NFL Mobile set up in here. We have Backup Assistant. I'll definitely be using Google Music on this. Let's go to the Music Player. Doesn't have anything pre-installed. I thought maybe it might have some, some music on there. But overall, it looks pretty quick. Let's see how fast it can take a picture. That was pretty quick. So overall, I think it's going to be a nice phone. It is a little bit heavy, but that's not a big problem. It's it's overall really nice and, and feels good in the hand. It feels sturdy. It's not slippery due to this nice back and should be pretty nice overall. So I'll go ahead and use this for a few days and then I'll be here doing another review for you. And so what I want you to do this time, though, is if there's anything specifically you want from this phone or want to see on this phone, uh, please go ahead and place that in the comments and I'll try and include that in the review. I always appreciate your suggestions and hearing what you have to say when it comes to the different phones and things that I review. So it's always good to get some feedback from you. I wouldn't be doing this here without you, so I always appreciate that. For any of you that are new and watching this video and haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.